Hey everybody, it's Doc. Welcome to the channel. So today it is a balmy 14 degrees here in central Iowa. And I say balmy because for the past two weeks it has been below zero pretty much a lot of the time at 15 below zero. So it's a pleasure to be out today. I'm out here with my dogs who are having fun wrestling in the snow. And I thought that I would revisit an old subject, which is my passive thermal solar heater that's in the springtail shop. And I did a video on this a couple of years ago. Over time, I've gotten a few messages saying that, you know, the audio is really kind of crappy and, you know, the video quality is not so good. So I thought I would redo it, revisit it. And it's a sunny day, so we might even have the fan on inside. I don't know what temperature it is inside because I haven't been in the shop. I was in the shop once in the past two weeks, but that was just to pull the Land Cruiser in because I had to move it from the upper shop because of snow removal. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the snow is coming off that. It'll be interesting to see how the temperature is in the garage because that garage is fully insulated uh, on the sides, on the top, and then the bottom is sealed with plastic. So essentially, it, if there wasn't a heater, it would be a great big cooler. And it'll be interesting to see what temperature we have actually been able to achieve there. The goal uh, over time was always to keep it above freezing. I don't know if it's managed that in this period of time, but we'll find out shortly. <laughs> That's the dogs hitting me. Um, we're going to do a close-up of the unit itself, and then we'll go inside and I'll show you around. Get away from me. So as we're closing in on the unit, it's kind of hard because I'm trying to track through about 18 inches of snow here. And you can see that pretty much this is a very simple system where you have glass panels with a space of air between it and a black backing behind glass. Essentially the sun heats up the air between the two panels and then the the Warmer air is pumped into the shop and the cooler air is pumped out. The solar panel up top is a photoelectric unit, which its sole purpose is to power a fan, which moves warmed air from behind the upper part of the panel into the shop, which subsequently pulls in cool air from the shop to the bottom of the panel, which is warmed up, moves up to the top, and then the process is repeated. This solar panel was made by a company called Solar Sheet. Don't bother looking it up because I don't think they're in business. And it was not an inexpensive unit. It was about $3,000 for this double-sided double unit. And they rated it as appropriate for this size of garage, which is 30 by 40 feet, which is 1,200 square feet. And again, like I said, it's never really made the garage warm, but the purpose of it really is just to keep the garage above freezing. And as you can see, it's made out of metal. It's slightly recessed into the building because that's the way I designed it, uh, or built, designed the building to accept it. And it was actually quite hard to get a unit. Almost all the units that were shipped were damaged because they're pretty fragile. I can see why the company went out of business because essentially this is something that you could probably very easily reverse engineer because it's really just a pane of glass with black metal behind it and a fan that's hooked to a thermostat that pulls in the warm air. And then there's an outlet on the bottom which draws in the cool air from the shop. And again, like I said before, the process is repeated. It's almost completely passive. It's not hooked up to the grid at all so it's not dependent on anything pretty much but the sun. Let's go inside and take a look. So as I've mentioned, I have not been in the shop at all today other than to reach in and turn on the lights because it takes the fluorescent lights a little while to heat up in here and they got turned off somehow. So that's cool. Come on, Z. Inviting the dogs in. And uh, I hope the light's okay in here. As you can see, we use this for kind of winter storage for the Land Cruiser and the GR Corolla, which will never see the snow. And what we have over here, we can hear the fan running, which is kind of cool because last time it was so cloudy 
that we didn't. And if, if you listen really closely, and if you look at the cobwebs blowing on the ceiling, on the ceiling, you can see the air moving. And essentially, if you stuck your hand up there, it would feel pretty similar to a hair dryer that's set on low. And then essentially, we have our thermostat here, which says it's 43 degrees in here, which is pretty amazing. I actually set the thermostat all the way up to 80 degrees because it will never achieve that temperature and I want this fan to run as much as possible. So back to the fan. There's our outlet from the solar unit and then down here we have our inlet which sucks the cold air out of the shop and then draws it back into the airspace between the panels which is warmed up and then it comes out there. Now for an official temperature check, and again, like I said, this garage has been essentially an ice box. No one's been in the shop for the past two weeks. Temperatures have dropped all the way to 15 below, and like I said, I don't necessarily believe the thermostat, so we're going to check the official thermometer on the wall. As you can see, the Land Cruiser's got remnants of puddles of snow by it so it hasn't been too frozen down here you know you'd think that it would cool down at night but this is this is my official temperature gauge and my official temperature gauge is pretty close to the thermostat it says it's 39 degrees the purpose of the shop was really originally that we did our packing down here inspection of product and also shipping which it's still used for shipping and more recently, we've been doing some YouTube videos down here, uh, particularly for the Corolla and some for the Land Cruiser. The way we heat the shop beyond the uh, solar, passive solar system is I've got these heaters from the ceiling, which heat the shop up very quickly. But it's really nice to have a kind of a core base temperature down here that's not below freezing. And over the years, I've noticed that Generally, it keeps the garage somewhere around 36 to 40 degrees in the wintertime, but it certainly hasn't been as cold as it has been this week, so I'm really, really surprised that we are able to achieve, what I say, 39 degrees. And that is a huge bonus as far as coming down and packing product and stuff like that, that we don't have to use so much energy to bring the garage back up to temperature. So that's it for the tour of the passive solar system. And I hope you guys like the video. If you do, please like, comment. If you have any questions, certainly throw them in the comments. And please do subscribe. You guys have a great day. I'm going back out in the cold. Have a good one.